Novak Djokovic recently won the Olympic gold and yeah now he's become the first person to complete tennis basically because he's won everything that there is to win be it Masters 1000 Grand Slams Olympics ATP finals etc and he also has a record for most year end number one finishes so i think this is just a testament to Novak's greatness but you know there's something which has been overlooked this season and in the past he didn't have like the best season according to his standards he still had a very good season you know making a grand slam final a grand slam semi final um you know at the australian open obviously he made the wimbledon final losing to alcaraz but uh, according to his standards you know not having a title until the second half of the season that's not really normal for him you know it's something that's not happened in 20 plus years so the fact that that happened was a little bit worrying indeed but now um you know he's won the olympics this is the title which he's been waiting for he's also won the davis cup once but he never won an olympic medal until this. obviously djokovic is very close to winning it all in 2021 but he lost to alexander zverev but this time he won the olympics this was his fifth olympic games and uh, yeah he was finally able to get over the line he's had so many heartbreaking losses in the past especially at the olympics including the one to del potro in 2016 which was in the opening round of the rio olympics he also lost um in 2012 uh during the bronze medal match he, and in 2018 got a bronze medal for his country so definitely not the best uh performance uh according to his standards again see the thing you got to understand is djokovic standards are a lot higher because you know he's just proven time and time again that he's the greatest tennis player to have ever held a racket i genuinely believe that and now it's not even up for debate i feel he's won every single title in tennis nobody else has done that so effectively djokovic has completed tennis and he's he's just the greatest of all time and something i feel about the match that happened against alcaraz first of all it was so intense you know i was at the edge of my seat the entire match but there was one more thing i feel like no matter what preparation alcaraz did that day whatever strategy he would have implemented none of that would have been enough just because you know in life some things are meant to be and i feel like on the day djokovic was just meant to win he was meant to win that olympic gold this is actually i don't think it's his last shot because he's very keen on playing the la olympics in 2028 now but it was definitely one of his last shots i think after 2028 it's probably going to be difficult i'm not sure I mean, look djokovic is superhuman almost his fitness is insane obviously a big reason for that his is his extreme discipline with his diet his exercise etc um so i'm i'm not sure about that but this was definitely one of his last chances to win a medal he was very uh, you know firm about the fact that he wanted to win a medal for serbia he did have his knee injury that's another thing guys i mean that was some insane adversity he faced you know just less than 2 months before the olympic games he underwent knee surgery for a meniscus tear and you know here he is winning an olympic gold most people will take that amount of time to just recover from the surgery so it's just a testament to the power of the human spirit it's a testament to novak's greatness and he's just someone who's always inspired me so much and i know that he will inspire you guys a lot as well it's not just about tennis it's also in life you know you will face challenges but you've got to rise above them you, you've got to realize that you are bigger than the adversities that come your way and sometimes you need adversity in order to propel you towards your greatness and towards achieving your goals and dreams and that's exactly what happened uh, with Djokovic he obviously didn't have a very good first half of the season it's probably because the olympic gold was waiting for him and as i said i feel like this is just meant to be everything was working for him especially in the final and alcaraz could have done a million different things but Djokovic was just meant to win, and he was meant to hug his daughter as well. That was a really heart-touching moment. And I think these things were just meant to happen. Maybe that's why he didn't win an Olympic gold until now because his kids had to be there to witness their dad win. So I, I don't know. I think some things are just written in the stars, right? So you just gotta flow with life. But yeah, I think Novak Djokovic is a classic example of the power of the human spirit, the power of the human mind, and the power of never giving up. and he is proof of the fact that impossible is equal to i am possible thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and share this with someone you love cuz that's how we can change many lives together
Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.